right here we have kind of a special little spot at Flat Creek. We've actually tried to invent a venue, a build a venue where people come not just to taste the wine but to spend the afternoon. We're providing some music, we have dinners, we have special events for people. So we try to give them reasons to come back, make it a destination for them. Wine is an experience for people. It isn't just about what's in the glass. It's about who you're with. It's about understanding the whole of the experience. It's about understanding from the grape to the bottle. I love bringing people here because it just has the ambiance of the hill country. You're driving here and you get the feeling that you have escaped. It's a really exciting adventure. And Madeline and Rick really add, uh, just add to the, the event. It's just a beautiful little drive from Round Rock and it's a great des destination. And the folks here are wonderful and the wine is wonderful. The scenery is beautiful and it's like every weekend is a little mini vacation. We do have a nice portfolio of wines here and they do uh, extend from the realm of a nice dry red to a beautiful dry white Pinot Grigio to some sweeter wines that are Moscato based. What makes it all come together is that we've selected vines that do well in the climate and soils that we have, that we have a full-time winemaker talented enough to be able to take those good wines and turn them into a superior product. In addition to the vineyards, of course, we've got our 10,000 case winery, and that gives us enough production to be not just in Texas, but the rest of the world is starting to know who we are as well. When the magazine came out, we were actually surprised to see that we were named. What was even more surprising than being named one of the 50 most exciting places to taste wine in America was that we were the only winery that was named. There were a lot of wine bars and restaurants, but we were the single winery that they had mentioned. So that, uh, I guess it's sort of a testament to how we do our tastings here at the winery in terms of both education and having a little fun while we're doing it. I think that's fabulous. The New York Times published not just an article that mentioned the Texas Hill Country as a destination, but specifically talked about the wineries. But there was an immense response to the winery portion of that Hill Country experience. We're increasing the size of the winery itself. We're putting in a dedicated tasting space. And then our event center, which is a lovely place to party, will be able to be dedicated more to events that are food, classroom related, and we'll be able to offer more opportunities for people to come out beyond just the tasting experience. I think what makes me feel good at the end of the day is seeing the people that come in and really enjoy tasting the wines, the wine experience that they have here, and telling us that they finally found wines that they enjoy and will continue to drink.